A prominent American state senator has strongly condemned hosting of the dismantling global Hindutva conference and described it as an anti-Hindu gathering as several universities asked the organizers to remove their logos from the site of the event which has generated outrage among Hindu Americans. This conference represents a disgusting attack on Hindus across the United States and we must all condemn this as nothing more than racism and bigotry against Hindus. I will always stand strong against Hindu phobia, Ohio State Senator Neeraj Antani said in a statement. I am condemning in the strongest possible terms the dismantling global Hindutva conference, he said. Antani is the youngest Hindu elected official in the history of the United States and is the first Indian American state senator in Ohio history. Being held on the weekend of September 10 to 12, Organizers of the Dismantling Global Hindutva have said they want to remain anonymous. However, they have made public names of several eminent speakers and academicians who will participate in the event. Coalition of Hindus of North America has written more than 350,000 emails against the conference to the universities, academicians and various stakeholders. In an email to COHNA, Rutgers University President Jonathan Holloway said that it was unaware that the university logo was being used by the organizers of the conference. This conference paints Hindus disproportionately and falsely as purveyors of extremism actively denies the genocide of Hindu people and most troublingly labels those who disagree as Hindutva, which the conference organizers define as Hindu extremism. COHNA said in a statement. The conference features the Hindutva Harassment Field Manual as an official resource that categorically states that Hindus have never faced systematic oppression throughout history and in present times. This resource also denies that anti-Hindu bias has ever led to casualties on horrific scales, it said. Rutgers University said that it is not a sponsor of the symposium. However, it noted that individual faculty from Rutgers may well be participating in the conference consistent with the tradition of academic freedom and fundamental American free speech rights. Dalhousie University has urged the organizers to remove its logo from their promotional material. We were previously unaware that UMass Boston was listed as a co-sponsor and we have not formally received any request, nor have we approved any request for UMass to be listed as such. Marcelo Suarez Orozco, Chancellor of the University, said in an email. COHNA said its emails to several universities have been receiving similar response reflecting that there was a concerted and organized efforts against the Hindus. Meanwhile, a group of scholars and members of academic communities in a joint statement came out in support of the event. The purpose of the Dismantling Global Hindutva Conference is to bring together leading scholars in South Asian studies and public commemorators on Indian society and politics from around the world in order to discuss the global phenomenon of Hindutva, they said. In a previous statement to PTI, organizers of the conference said the goals of the conference are to scrutinize what Hindutva says and thus with regard to a wide range of topics from caste to political economy to gender and sexuality and more. The conversation will feature academics, public intellectuals, activists and artists who will speak carefully and powerfully to educate the wider public about these issues, they said. This conference is held during a time when a Hindu supremacist regime is in power in India. And so this conference will also throw light on what Hindutva does when it has captured state power by closely scrutinizing both its official policies and its unofficial policies like creating impunity for Hindutva violence and setting up a massive propaganda machinery, said the organizers who have said that they do not want to be identified. We categorically reject the idea that critiquing Hindutva is in any way harmful to Hindu students. Indeed, we consider Hindutva to be the most significant threat to Hinduism's pluralist ethos as well as to efforts to fight ills in Indian society like casteism, that certain groups can't distinguish between a critic of Hindutva and attacks on Hinduism says more about the confusion, affiliation and desire to defend Hindutva using any rhetoric necessary than it says about this conference, they said. News Discount, the English.